Starfield director Todd Howard recently disclosed some exciting details about the highly anticipated game. During a podcast interview with Kinda Funny Games, Howard addressed several inquiries from both the hosts and fans. Here's a summary of the key points he confirmed. Accessibility Bethesda is prioritizing accessibility by implementing a large font mode, taking into account different monitor sizes and handheld devices. They are also considering compatibility with the Steam Deck, but will discuss it at a later date. Locations and Planets The game will feature a diverse range of handcrafted locations. Some will be fixed on specific planets, while others will be randomly generated or placed when players land on a planet. In creating the game's 1,000 planets, a combination of procedural generation and handcrafting will be employed. Approximately 10% of these planets will have life forms. Players will come across barren planets, which Bethesda aim to make visually striking and evoke a sense of beauty in their desolation. The intention is for players to feel like they are among the few who have witnessed these abandoned landscapes, to avoid making the game feel overly game. Each planet can have multiple biomes, and players can scan planets for their unique traits to earn money. However, they must prepare adequately for exploration on foot, as environmental factors like temperature and radiation can cause adverse effects if not taken into account. Starfield will not feature land transportation, such as vehicles or animal mounts, but players can utilize boost packs and low gravity to traverse large distances. Companions Companions will not be mandatory for completing the game. Players can finish the game without forming a party or relying on companions. Companions will not leave by themselves if they become angry with the player, but players can choose to send them to an outpost permanently. It remains unclear whether companions can be dismissed entirely. The four primary consolation companions will have complete quest lineage and potential romantic relationships. Spaceship and Crew Players will have the option to assemble an all-robot crew on their spaceships. While Vasco is a confirmed character, there may be other unique robot NLAPs players will encounter, although this couldn't be confirmed by Howard. Ships, including stolen ones, can be modified by spending in-game credits to register them. Ship modification is expected to be a late game system due to its cost. The ship's grav drive is technically called a graviton loop field array. Outposts and economy. Outposts will also be a late game system. Players will need to gather resources and develop their character skills to create a large network of outposts. Cargo can be shuttled between planets and outposts, contributing to the in-game economy. Music and radio stations. The game's music, composed by Ainon Zur, was created early in the development process. There will be a radio station accessible only on a specific planet, preventing players from tuning in while exploring the vast universe. Quests and modding. Players can have multiple quests active simultaneously, providing ample opportunity for chaos and magical moments. Howard acknowledged that this can sometimes lead to chaotic situations, but believes it adds to the unique experiences players enjoy. While generic side quests, including fetch quests, will be present in Starfield, the game will also feature specific quests with deeper narratives. Howard anticipates that Starfield will be a modder's paradise and express the importance of making modding accessible to players as both a hobby and potential career. Additionally, he mentioned that Vasco cannot wear a hat in the base game, but expects it to be one of the early modes created by the community. Howard also referenced Digital Foundry's technical analysis of Starfield. Was it ever under consideration to potentially do a performance mode that you would take away some of these features like you just talked about with, with the vol volumetric fog? We never looked at taking features away. Our focus is on delivering all of that. Um, obviously, we've we, we've seen all those comments. Digitally found, Digital Foundry, they do an incredible job. I don't think they know how everybody in the game industry watches every single one of their videos. <laughs> they do a fantastic job. Um, and ultimately, look, we boil it down to we wanted the consistency. Game is running great, but we don't want players to ever think about it. Um, we have obviously seen other games that have performance modes and. We, we lean toward consistency. And that wraps up our coverage of the latest revelations about Starfield. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting gaming updates.
What are your thoughts on this new information? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, Starfield is shaping up to be a true masterpiece, offering handcrafted locations, barren planets with a sense of beauty, and the ability to modify your spaceship. Stay tuned for more information as we eagerly await the release of this highly anticipated game. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy gaming!